Welcome to another Good E-Reader exclusive comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we're going to compare nighttime reading with the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glowlight versus smartphones versus solar powered cases, normal book lights, the Apple iPad, and a ton of other devices. So if you're wanting a device to read at night, this is the definitive tutorial for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is activate the Glowlight feature on the Nook glow light. So you can see that it looks very well. Now the first thing that we're going to do is uh, attach a book light to the previous generation Barnes & Noble Simple Touch and uh, see how it stacks up. So we have a book light and you could see right from the first test that the one on the right looks a hell of a lot better. No matter which way that you change the LED light, it's pretty hard to read it. You also get that LED glare on the e-ink screen. So you do have to kind of find that sweet spot. You can see at the top it's readable, but as you go down it gets cumulatively darker, whereas the Nook Simple Touch with the LED, with with the, the lights built into the side of the bezel, it illuminates the whole screen fairly evenly. So with the first test with a standard uh, LED light, a book light, you can see for yourself that this is fairly lackluster, whereas this is pretty even. The next test that we're going to do is we're going to uh, run a Kindle fourth generation in a solar powered solar focus case with built-in reading light so we're going to turn that on right now Damn, pretty good. so it's uh, not too bad let's uh, fire up a book on there okay so you could see it's almost the same sort of uh, thing that you found with the book light where half of the screen looks pretty good but the farther you go down the darker it becomes uh, yeah I, I would agree with Michael I mean this is while this is a great case and it has a built-in light at the top uh, the light is coming from here so you're shining a light on an e-ink screen and you'll see it's great up here but you know it's just gone by the time you get to the bottom however this is completely illuminated this isn't we're not shining a light here or anything like that as you can see the whole screen is illuminated all right so you can see out of both tests so far the nook simple touch with glow light really blows it all away the next test that we're going to run is showing you the barnes and noble nook tablet and how with an LCD screen it stacks up for nighttime reading. Okay, so you can see here that there's this is way brighter, and that's because it's using an LCD screen instead of e ink. You can see this is the functionality. The brightness is pretty well set to the max right now. But you see that this is way brighter. But you could also you could customize the brightness settings on this as well. And you can tell that this is really running full LCD because of the refreshing of the screen. Now you do not see this with the naked eye, but it's reacting to the camera lens because this is a flickering LCD liquid crystal display screen, whereas this is just an e-ink e -ink screen, simple as that. Right, so with the brightness set up to max on both, you can see that this is the whites are really glaring. This is a little bit easier on the eyes because of the e ink display versus an LCD display. So, the longer that you read at night, the more likely you are to get that sort of LCD sort of glare that you would experience. Uh, if you look at some of the options here, you can see that the font options are pretty well the same carrying over from device to device. Oh, but Michael, you are forgetting about the advantage that LCD has in that it has night mode. 
as well. So you could always do that if the white gets a little too uh, stressful for your eyes. Right, and the nighttime reading mode is found in, in many different uh, tablets and apps these days. Uh, Kindle and Barnes & Noble apps are really good for this. So you can kind of find that sweet spot uh, to read at night. The, the, dif the main difference is, is this is pure e-ink. So you could pretty well read this in the direct sun, whereas if you read this in the direct sun, often that you will get that LCD uh, sort of glare. You know, shining the book light on there, you could see that it really does affect it. So the next test that we're going to do is run a smartphone next to this and show you kind of how it stacks up. More people now than ever are reading uh, news, they're reading RRS feeds, and reading books on their phones because phones are pretty ultra portable and they fit in your pocket. They're so, they do mostly everything. So here's a Android phone with a Kindle app on here. You can see that this is actually almost a little bit brighter. So you can see that this is a little bit easier to read than the phone. The phone has obviously a smaller screen, but it makes up for it in its portability factor. All right, so the next test that we're gonna run is um, the Barnes & Noble Simple Touch with Glow versus the Apple iPad. So you can see that the iPad, very bright. It looks like a book. <laughs> it does look like a book. It looks like a book. And, you know, truth be told, I love nighttime reading on my iPad. I do like the fact that, it, you know, you can change the background to various different colors, uh, nighttime reading mode and all that type of stuff. I, I'm, a, you know, admittedly, all these kind of cool animations and being able to peek, I'm a sucker for all that type of stuff. It's about the same. Yeah. So you can change the brightness. You can change it to night mode if you want. So it depends on what you want to do. Obviously, it's a this is extremely not the the Apple iPad uh, third generation is not as portable obviously as the Nook Simple Touch with Glow. This pretty well fits in your back pocket. This you do need a case or uh, different ways to carry it. But obviously with the Apple iPad you can do a lot more than just a dedicated e-reader. But this is why this just costs a little over $100 and this costs about $450 to about $900. So, um, you know, the proof is in the pudding. But the purpose of this is just to show you nighttime reading on various e-readers, phones, tablets and third-party accessories like solar focus uh, cases as well as book lights so you can kind of make the decision on what gadget and what devices and, and third-party accessories are perfect for you so this video is just demonstrating all the different things on the market uh, you can get this uh, case as well as the book light and all of these devices you see here on shopereaders.com so you can check out everything uh, on that website fast international shipping no matter what country you live in in the world they will ship everything straight out to you a uh, final thoughts um, honestly uh, aside from all the reading lights that get shine down onto the um, screen, I would have to say having the screen illuminated is much better than book lights on the screen because you're going to get all this glare, you're going to get reflections and all that kind of thing. Uh, the Nook Simple Touch with Glow actually has a built-in uh, screen protector that works with the light to just give you the most optimized reading experience you can get. You can't really beat this. It's e-ink, which is it's perfect for an e-reader because it's meant to be read. You're not supposed to do apps and Angry Birds and all that kind of stuff. It has full illumination, absolutely no glare. And my first concern was that there's lights around the um, bezel pointing down on it so I was like oh no what if you block the screen it doesn't matter the whole text is illuminated it doesn't matter if you block the edges you're getting full 
full illumination. It's absolutely wonderful. I thought it was a great idea too. Yeah, for the cost, considering that this is just over a hundred dollars, that you really get a tremendous amount of value with the Barnes and Noble Simple Touch with Glow. Don't forget all these book lights and solar focus cases and uh, backlit screen Nook tablets and iPads. They cost. They they end up making the cost drive up. Whereas this has everything built right into it. There's no bulky accessories or anything like that. It still fits in your pocket, but you can read it in the direct sun, unlike a lot of tablets that you get that sun reflection glare. And you can read it late at night. So this is a truly uh, a tablet that you could read in any circumstances. So for a comparison video on the Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light versus a ton of other devices, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.